All right. Welcome back to Tuesday Big Guys Trade Stocks. I'm Vinny. I'm Dylan. And today we're going to talk about Big Tech Earnings Week. It's starting in one of the one of the my my largest holding is reporting earnings this week. So it's kind of stuff I'm looking for on their earnings report. Got it. If you like this kind of entertaining stock market content, we're just two stupid guys trying to figure thing everything out. Just give us a like and subscribe. So. <laughs> All right. I picked Fry here because these companies just get like people throwing money at them. So that's why I picked them. <laughs> this is one of the most underrated cartoons of all time. I agree. I'm a big Future Own fan. So Microsoft first one up this week. They report on Tuesday, January 25th, after the bell, expecting 229 per share with a 12.8% implied EPS growth year over year. Pretty solid, right? 13%. Bottom line Especially growth. for a, what, two trillion company? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, the big thing that I want to know what they say is whether or not this whole uh, Activision acquisition is, is like their play on the metaverse. It sounds like it's going to be, but that uh, I'm, I've been looking at Facebook from a metaverse standpoint, and I want to know what Microsoft's thoughts are as far as like the metaverse play. I am so excited for this because uh, I hate that there's a Call of Duty every single year. Uh, yeah. I'm furious about it. I'm a kind of a, kind of a gamer guy, and I feel like Microsoft has been buying all these companies. This is the biggest company they bought, by the way, for games. Not even close. Yeah. And I am I'm very excited to see how this rolls out because Call of Duties have staled. They're sh crappy. <laughs> yeah, uh, Microsoft fortunately is in a great place financially, where they have like 130 billion dollars in cash and cash equivalents. So the 70 billion dollar acquisition of um, you know uh, Activision Blizzard is well within their wheelhouse for a, a takeover. The other one, my largest holding, Apple, near and dear to my heart, uh, is expected to report this Thursday uh, at a dollar 89 per share of um, EPS, which is a 12.5 percent year over year growth. So very solid. They're going to be three trillion dollars in like. They were briefly. They never closed above it, but they were briefly. They're gonna be four trillion. Yeah, I mean they're they're absolutely ridiculous. So the, the two things that I'm kind of watching from like an Apple question is the gross margins. If you see they've been in a recent uptrend, the reason why the uptrend has been going on is because the service sector has been growing. You know, mm -hmm. personally, I just I I have now the I think it's Apple Plus or whatever it's called. Um, that gives me like more cloud storage, gives me the Apple Music, gives me the Apple Fitness, um, all that sort of products rolled into one. And like Apple has been able to transition their uh, hardware into like these new add-on software packages. Um, so if you actually look at their their kind of sectors uh, as far as the revenue grows, uh, green here is services, and you see it's been, been becoming a much more sizable portion of the revenue over time. Um, this is like uh, I want to say as of third quarter of uh, 2021, it was 21 percent of the revenue. I don't think you can have any sexier fundamentals than Apple. I just I don't think they exist. Yeah, it's ridiculous that, you know, they, they had this this hardware moat and now they've been able to turn this into a software moat, which has even higher gross margins. That's why you've seen that, you know, increase in the gross margins. So I'm curious to see where, where they are going forward as far as like adding more service folks and subscription right. revenue. All right. Solid. Guys. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, you know, it's a good opportunity for some volatility this week. You know, when you start to see these two big tech companies reporting. Uh, so we'll see what happens. And Lately, the trend has been uh, report solid numbers, lose a bunch of money. So this could be a solid buying opportunity. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Let us know what your thoughts are and your trades are this week. See you guys Have later. A good one.